Hey Claiborne, it's Friday. A little while back, I discussed a new project I'm taking on to design a small space station. Tonight, I wanted to provide a little update on where I am with that. First, I've done a lot of experimentation, and I'm not sure I'm totally settled on a capsule yet, but I do have what I think is a good modular capsule framework for collaborative builds. Here's a small sample of the capsule framework I'm currently working on. There are parts that I'm not super happy with, but I think everything here provides a good start for a space capsule city or modular build, so I figured I'd walk through the different components. First, there's the hole. The hole in this case is just the bottom, these large bricks, and the capsule top. More than one whole unit can be combined using either panels or more of the large bricks as joiners between the two whole units, but I don't know that I'd recommend combining more than two full units together. In addition to the large brick, there's a pretty straightforward assembly that caps any ended capsule. It's a small Technic pin brick in the middle of two one by one bricks. This allows for either a capsule in cap or a capsule passage to be attached to the capsule. In order to combine two capsules, I can use the capsule passage, two arches held together by a modified brick with studs on all sides. If you're planning on combining two capsules, one of them should have an end with neither a passage nor a cap. The Technic pin brick allows the capsule gate to snap between both capsules. If you don't want to add a capsule connector, you can add a cap. In this case, it's a few wedge pieces and some half Technic pins to snap it in place. On the small example capsule, you'll notice that the floor is raised pretty high. I've used two 4x4 plates stacked because this is a very small capsule, but you could use a small step on a larger capsule. This is important because it makes the small model here a pretty tight fit for minifigs, but in a larger capsule, some more space might be afforded. And that's all the components of the capsule system so far. One thing that was important to me when designing this was to have a good way to allow capsules to not only connect end to end, but also to allow them to connect in the middle. Here's an example of how that's achieved. You can see that in this case, the capsule mount points are in the center of the capsule with a four stud gap between the next one. This allows either a capsule passage or an end cap to be added at that point. There's still a lot of work to be done with this. Even though I wanted a pretty cramped space, I'm not super excited with what this has ended up being. The capsule width and height are both barely large enough for a minifig, which leaves little territory for science to be happening, and I haven't figured out a good way to do windows yet. In the next few days, I'll post a studio file for the example capsule on our Patreon page for anyone that's interested. Claiborne, I'll see you on Tuesday.